Hello, I'm Dick Murray. I'm your new 28th District State Representative. I'm here at Fort Stillicum Park, which is at the geographic center of the 28th Legislative District. I've lived here in the 28th Legislative District since 1976. Got stationed here as a second lieutenant, married Mary Burns of uh, Lakes High School class of 75. I love this area. Four children and six grandchildren make this my home. I think it's important to be active in our communities. It's uh, whether it was working with my kids in the, uh, my sc schools and education to helping others uh, through uh, uh, groups like Kiwanis, uh, my church, uh, Military Officer Association of America, uh, veterans groups. Being active in community uh, allows you to help others but also to become more learned about things that are going on in your community. In public service, collaboration is everything. Uh, nothing gets done unless a lot of people are, are involved. Uh, the, a good example is this park that we're standing at, Fort Silicon Park. When I got here, we didn't have the ball fields that we had, uh, that had to be improved. That was a collaboration between the city of, of Lakewood and Pierce County. Uh, these bathrooms, Partners for Parks uh, here in Lakewood, help raise the money to make, uh, make sure to get, we get some bathrooms here. Uh, this playground area, Dave Sclair had an idea that we needed a great playground with him, the Rotary and Kiwanis and others. He led an effort to raise the money and then get the people to build this playground. A whole bunch of other amenities that were built here also were the result of collaboration. Citizen involvement is essential for public policy. All the best ideas come from, from the grassroots, from the people who are experiencing either challenges in their community or challenges in their own life. They then filter up to their, their elected officials or their friends and family through the internet, email, phone calls, testifying in front of the legislature, giving the, uh, the information necessary to make good public policy. Uh, my seven years on the Stillicum School Board and my nine years on the County Council all were essentially uh, done through uh, collaboration with, uh, with people. As you know, what brought me to this area was the military. As a young second lieutenant, came here to fly airplanes at McCord Air Force Base, which is now McCord Field. This is a military community. The 28th District uh, is the center of that. Joint Base Lewis McCord is in the 28th District, uh, and it is the most important part of my legislative efforts. It's taking care of military families and veterans, assisting them is, is essential for a great, great community not only from our economy, but it's the right thing to do, uh, taking care of the people who protect us uh, and our interests around the world. Uh, 22 years in the military, I married a, a military dependent. My kids grew up with, uh, in the military. This is going to be my focus, making sure that we take care of Joint Base Lewis McCord. Some of the top priorities you can see from here, number one is uh, ed education. Uh, in the background here, just over this hill, we have Pierce College, Lakes High School, and Steelacom High School, all within a half mile, mile where I'm standing right now, making sure that uh, uh, we have good public policy that has good workable schools, the right resources are there, and the right laws in place to empower the, uh, the schools to, to teach our children, and to teach our young adults, and to teach adults who are getting further education at Pierce College. Uh, number two would be Western State Hospital off to my left, a half mile off to my left. This is actually part of the Western State Hospital grounds. Uh, mental health is a responsibility of the state. We need to make sure it's, it's adequately funded and we have the right processes in place to make sure that we take care of those people who have, who have mental health issues. It's essential for, a, uh, for, the, for the consumers of mental health services, but it's also essential for a, a well-run community to have good mental health uh, policies and, and funding. And number three is going to be, uh, besides taking care of the military, part of taking care of the military is also taking care of transportation is issues. Joint Base Lewis McCord from Olympia all the way up to Tacoma is backlogged with traffic. We need more, uh, more lanes, we need more better intersections, we need uh, better bridges. We need to take care of that, that infrastructure there. Without it, Joint Base Lewis McCord will not be able, uh, a, a center of excellence from the military's point of view. So 
those are my, uh, my, my priorities. And uh, like I say, we're here at the center of the 28th district and w within a few miles of here, we, we, uh, a lot of the things uh, that we want to focus on exist. The 28th district is really a special district, not only because the, uh, the number one economic driver of the, uh, the area is Joint Base Lewis McCord, but we also have Spanaway and Graham, where a lot of our, our, our families live, who work at JBLM and all the other industries, like in Fredrickson, uh, to here in Lakewood and in, uh, in Stillicum and DuPont. Uh, we have education establishments like Pierce College, and we have a University Place in Faircrest and West Tacoma, uh, Anderson Island. We have some really great places to live, and uh, people live in this, this area, what we call the 28th Legislative District, because it is focused on families, it is focused on education, it is focused on delivering those services that make a great community. Uh, again, as we stand here in one of the nicest parks and playgrounds in Pierce County here at Fort Silicon Park, you can see the kids that are coming to the playground on this nice sunny uh, July day.